Hello everyone, good evening, how are you all? So yes, we are again back and today we are going to discuss invention and discoveries. Yesterday there was some network issue, that's why some sort of issue was there because of which class was stucking. So we will be continuing with the same topic and let's start. So first of all, let's discuss about these inventions and discoveries. So if I talk about these inventions and discoveries, what is the basic difference between them? If I talk about inventions, these are the things which were actually not present earlier. There were some experiments that were done and finally those particular th things came into existence. For example, bulb. Bulb was never existing before that experiment that was done by Thomas Alvarez Edison, right? So that is invention. But if I talk about discovery, these things were already existing. But after the experiments and all, people came to know about its existence and yes, for more properties, more experiments were done and people were explained about it. So, okay, what happens in the examination, whether it is SSC, CGL or SSC, GD, whichever examination is there, there are questions which are asked. For example, they may ask you, who has invented this thing? Who has discovered this thing? Apart from that, you may be asked about the uh, any of the instrument that why that particular instrument is used or how it is used. So yes, without any delay, let's start with our topic that is invention and discoveries. So we'll start with the invention and discoveries part. So who all are present kindly give me your attendance so that we can start the discussion. And yesterday we were having some here, some tricks and all. We'll be discussing those tricks today, it's today again, fine. So okay, who all are present kindly give me your attendance. Till then, I'll be just checking who all are present right now. Everyone, waiting for you all. Yes, so first of all, we'll be starting with the automatic calculator. So who was the one who has discovered the automatic calculator? He was Wilhelm Schickard. Then, and till the position, we have already discussed this part, we'll be completing this section and then we'll be starting with all those tricks which were not completed yesterday. So the place uh, till where we have completed, we'll just go with the super fast mode till that location. Okay, so next comes your air conditioner. Here, air conditioner was discovered by Willis carrier. Then, anemometer. What is anemometer? Anemometer is a device which is actually helping in measuring the wind speed. Who was the one? If I talk about the anemometer, he was Leon Alberti. Next, talking about animation. We were discussing about the cartoons, right? If I talk about cartoons, we were discussing about one of the movie in which there was a mouse. What was the name? The name was Strot Little, remember? So I'll talk about that Strot Little. From Strot Little, I can take out the word Strot. So yes, here for the animation, we know that it is J. Strot Blackton. Now, talking about atom bomb. We remember atom bomb? If I'll talk about atom bomb, what we discussed, we discussed if a bomb blasts, what is going to happen? Many people will die. In Hindi, we call it that what? That log mar jayenge, right? And that too in the high quantity. So high mar. So what was the name? Name was Robert High Mar. Full name is Julius Robert Oppenheimer. Next, talking about aspirin. Aspirin, the medicine which is actually he helping us in relieving the pain, right? So I told you, there is cough. In Hindi, we uh, use a word for writing part, that is cough. Mujhe cough hai ke aisa na ho, mere mein bohut dard ho jai. So that is from that cough. What you were remembering? Hoff. Remember? So it is what? It is Hoffman. So Dr. Felix Hoffman is the correct answer. Then, talking about airplanes. If I talk about aeroplanes, then in airplanes, who were the ones? So they were brothers. Which one? Wright brothers. Remember? So they were two brothers, Wright brothers. Actually, their name was Wilbur and Orville Wright. So they were, they were the ones who has actually discovered airplane. Remember, if I talk about helicopter, who was the one? I gave you the trick. If there are options in which you will see the sky, that is the person who has discovered the he a helicopter. We will be reaching to that part, but till then, who all are present here, I want the comments from you all, who is present here so that I can start talking to you and go in the details with more tricks. Okay, let's move forward now. Talking about adhesive tape, whenever we see that our page is torn or there is any sort of thing which can be actually pasted using this tape, we use a tape that is adhesive tape. Now, who was the one who had discovered it? He was Richard D. Drew. Sorry, Richard G. Drew. Next, talking about bifocal lens. We were talking about this lens yesterday. If we talk about some of the issues, for example, hypermetropia, we were talking about farsightness. Then, if I talk about myopia, we talk about nearsightness. Remember, and in the farsightness, we were not able to see nearby objects clearly. 
in the nearby thickness that is near sightness myopia we are not able to see far objects clearly what if we talk about dead age that is the old age where we where our grandparents are they are not able to see anything clearly neither the near one near the far one so they are using the bifocal lens that is the spectacles with the both type of lens remember so if i'll talk about those type of lenses then we have some structure that is downwards and some out upwards this downward structure is actually helping in reading the newspaper and this part actually helps us in looking far behind remember so that is bifocal lens now who was the one who discovered this bifocal lens so he was benjamin franklin now talking about barometer if i'll talk about atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is measured by barometer now who was the one so for barometer the person who had discovered it was torricelli remember i told you yesterday also the unit has actually a uh, unit has been derived from their name itself that was what torricelli so barometer was discovered by torricelli next talking about barbed wire now who was the one who discovered this barbed wire he was joseph f gliden then talking about blood group remember we were discussing about blood group yesterday if i talk about blood group there were four types of blood groups which one were they we had blood groups a b ab and o if i talk about rhesus factor also it will come positive negative positive negative positive negative and positive negative so if i talk about these blood groups they were actually discovered by carl landsteiner but there's one more question which is asked in the examination if someone asks you this carl landsteiner was the one who has actually discovered the blood groups but who has actually discovered the blood circulation blood circulatory system we are discussing about so if i talk about the blood circulation he was william harvey please remember he was william harvey okay coming back to our point next comes your ball point pen who was he yesterday i told you if i talk about this pen from this pen we can speak loudly now you must be thinking sir from pen how we can speak if i talk about those green pens those people who are already as, as, uh, working as a gazetted officer or they are at that particular uh, location where their signature means a lot so those words will be louder than your words right so yes we must work in such a manner we can also show the power of a pen so that power of pen can actually be loud so it was discovered by john loud just remember by these small small stories or these tricks next bicycle tires so who was the one who has discovered this bicycle tire he was john boy dunlop so we have shilpa here hello shilpa good evening how are you so yes we have discovered bicycle tire sorry bicycle tires were discovered by dunlop but we have a question over here and the question is if i'll talk about a bicycle that is with the pedal the bicycle where pedals are there it was discovered by whom so this was the question which we discussed or we have studied in the fourth standard and we have discussed discussed it yesterday also so who can give me this answer if i'll talk about the bicycle that to the pedaled one so pedaled bicycle was discovered by whom so do you have any answer i'll just tell you that was macmillan please remember we have studied this in the fourth standard itself the correct answer would be macmillan so moving forward if i'll talk about pedal driven bicycle who was he we have just discussed he was macmillan then talking about celluloid who was the one who has discovered celluloid so for celluloid we have alexander parks then chloroform he was sir james young simpson now where is this chloroform used if i'll talk about the negative use we must have seen in some of the movies where kidnapping is done right so for the kidnapping we do what we actually we don't do it i'm just putting my point so yes for the kidnapping part what we what is done actually there's a chloroform which is kept on the hanky or something like that we just put it near the nose and that particular person is out of his senses at that time so yes that is actually discovered by sir james young simpson talking about cine camera cine camera it is actually relating with the cinema because of which we are able to see movies right so yes if i talk about the cine camera it was discovered by w m green next circulation of blood we have just discussed about it circulation of blood when it was discovered in the uh, dung, sorry in the horse finally we came to know about our blood circulation that time the discovery when it was done it was actually discovered on the animal every time whenever we discuss about anything which is actually discovered or it is being done for the human race first of all experiment is done on the animals now i have a question for you uh, whenever we talk about the landing on the moon we talk about neil armstrong right but can you name that animal who was the first one to land on the moon 
everyone is requested to kindly answer me this question i am asking whenever we are talking about any of the human race any of the discovery any of the invention first of all we experiment on the uh, any of the animal right so it's very obvious when we talk about the landing on the moon so it's very simple there must be some animal who has actually landed on the moon or was first sent before the human being so who was he or she can you tell me the first animal to land on the moon yes waiting for the answer so we have shilpa here others who all are present here i want the answer from everyone and everyone who has joined the session kindly like it and share it my question is again the same whenever we are talking about any of the invention discoveries we are actually taking animals for those particular experiments right so before neil armstrong who was the one who was sent into the space or we can talk about the moon so can you answer this part who was the first one to send through that rocket so if i talk about those animals please remember we all are aware of a dog that is laika right so laika was the dog which was actually sent but in the true sense there was one more animal before that and that was monkey whose name was miki so miki was the monkey who was actually sent first but there was some issues and laika was sent and finally after the everything was fine that we were dis we discovered actually that everything is safe and sound then neil armstrong actually was the first person to land on the moon fine in the similar manner if i'll talk about the cloning of the gene to so first genes cloning was done on a sheep and that sheep's name was dolly fine so these are the questions which are actually asked in the ssc examinations do not forget what was the name of sheep that was dolly so who all are present here i actually want your name so that i can start talking to you all yes everyone can you give me your names and everyone is requested to kindly like this session and share it okay so we have discussed all those questions now talking about the circulation of blood who was he he was william harvey now talking about the mechanical clock if i talk about the clock mechanical we know that there are needles that is second needle is there we talk about minutes hand right so whenever those needles are moving they do a sound they just produce a sound that is tick 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 from that tick tick sound you can have a look what is written here we have hing ling hing ling tick tick you can just try to link a uh, link it fine so yes hing and ling were the ones who has discovered this clock mechanical so hing ling sen next talking about centigrade scale so centigrade scale was discovered by celsius from the name itself it is clear whenever we'll talk about a fahrenheit scale we know that what degree celsius we have read that now so he was ender celsius who discovered this centigrade scale now if someone asks you what is the si unit of temperature so can you answer this what is the si unit of temperature let's see who can answer this what is the si unit of temperature and whatever questions i'm discussing now these questions are actually asked in the examination so yes can anyone answer me what is the si unit of temperature is it celsius fahrenheit what what is the si unit of temperature so shilpa can you answer this others is navnita jos all you all of you are present here yes if i talk about this unit please remember whenever we are talking about the unit that would be kelvin that is si unit is actually kelvin but other units other units are reamer we have centigrade we have fahrenheit okay next comes your chlorine so chlorine was discovered by carl wilhelm schell then comes your dynamite very important question it is asked again and again in the examination i'll put double star over here please remember dynamite was actually discovered by alfred nobel very important it is asked many times then comes a diesel engine for the diesel engine we can just get its name from the name diesel itself that is who was the one he was sir rudolf diesel so diesel engine was invented by sir rudolf diesel next comes your electric stove and cooker so if i'll talk about electric stove and cooker who was the one he was william s hadaway then electroscope he was william gilbert if i'll talk about electric fan so we have seen that if i'll talk about a fan in the center part we see that there's a wheel like structure right again again i'm saying what if i'll talk about a fan in the center we have a wheel like structure so from that wheel we can remember wheeler what wheeler so he was wheeler wheeler was the one who has discovered electric fan next talking about electric battery see whenever we are talking about battery the first thing that comes into our mind is a voltage right voltage which are measured by voltmeter so from volta we can remember the correct answer would be what volta so here volta was the one who has discovered electric battery next talking about elevator 
elevator was discovered by Elisha G. Otis and everyone who is, who is there in the session, if you are unable to understand or unable to mug up these particular points, so we have tricks for each and everything, but I want your comments, your interactions so that I can actually tell you how we can remember that, fine. So yes, everyone who is just finding it difficult to remember, I am there, I will help you out, but before that I want the interaction, that interaction so that I can get to know where you are facing the issue, right? Okay, next let's talk about DC motor, that is electric motor. This was discovered by Thomas Davenport. Next, electromagnet, so he was William Sturgeon. Next, fountain pen, he was Petrarche. Then, fluorine, he was Henry Mary Ampere. Next comes your gramophone, if I talk about gramophone, who was he? Gramophone was actually discovered by Thomas Edison. Now, in the similar manner, if someone asks you about the bulb, let's see who can answer this. The basic question, but it is the important one. Who was the one who has discovered bulb? Electric bulb. Can you tell me? Electric bulb was discovered by whom? Anyone. So, I'll talk about electric bulb. Who was he? He was Thomas, Thomas Elva Edison. Who was he? He was Thomas Elva Edison. Next. So, this was Thalva, uh, Thomas Elva Edison. Next, if I will talk about hydrogen. Hydrogen was discovered by whom? Hydrogen was discovered by Henry Cavendish. Next, helicopter. So, here we had a trick. Remember that trick? If I will talk about the trick of the helicopter, where do we find helicopter? Obviously, helicopter is actually used for transportation purpose from one location to another. But where? in the air, that is in the sky, right? So, from the sky itself, you can remember this. Just have a look at the name, Igor Sarkovsky. That is, from this sky word, we can get the option. One of the option will be sky and we will be clicking that because helicopter was invented by Sarkovsky. Then, talking about hovercraft. Hovercraft was discovered by Christopher Cockrell. Then, if I will talk about hot air balloon. Hot air balloon was discovered by whom? So, hot air balloon was discovered by Joseph Montgolfier. Then, helium. Helium is a gas, we know about it. Well, if I will talk about this helium gas, we know that. It, if I will talk about its octet, there is no such octet, there is only DU8. Remember? So, if I will talk about it, in which particular group is it? It is in the eight, 18th group, right? Where we talk about the noble gases. Okay, so helium was discovered by Jules Jensen. Then, talking about insulin. Insulin was discovered by Sir Frederick Benting. Then, jet engine, he was Hence, one Ohen. Now, these are the important things from invention discoveries part. If you are facing any difficulty in remembering them, you can just tell me in the comment section so that I can help you out with this. Okay, so this was the one. Next, talking about lightning conductor. So, lightning conductor was discovered by Benjamin Franklin. Then, locomotive. Do you understand what is locomotive? Whenever we are talking about trains, so, if I talk about those trains, so we have engine where we have discussed, if I talk about the uh, diesel engine, it was discovered by Rudolf Diesel. So, if I talk about those coaches, if I talk about this particular part of train, we can discuss about locomotive as well. So, yes, locomotive, it was discovered by George Stephenson. Talking about laser, now this laser is actually asked in the examination, so I will put double star over here. Laser was discovered by Theodore Mayman. Who was he? He was Theodore Mayman. Then talking about light bulb, again this light bulb is asked in the examination, so I will just put a single star. Light bulb was discovered by Thomas Edison and full name is Thomas Elva Edison. Next, talking about motorcycle, so who was he? If I will talk about the motorcycle, the correct answer is going to be Gottlieb Daimler. Then microscope, microscope, obviously everyone knows, if I will talk about this instrument, what it does? It actually magnifies, magnifies to the next level, that is we can even see the microbes over here, including the bacteria, correct? So, if I talk about microscope, it was discovered by Jensen. Then, microphone. Microphone was discovered by Alexander Graham Bell. Next. Next comes your machine gun. So, for the machine gun, please remember he was Richard Gatling. Then, neon lamp. Neon lamp was discovered by Georges Claude. Oxygen. We have studied about it in the chemistry part. Who was he? If I talk about oxygen, Oxygen was discovered by Joseph Priestley. Then ozone. What is the formula for ozone? If I talk about the formula of ozone, that is O3, right? And yes, we are talking about this ozone, the same ozone which is present outside the layer of the earth, correct? 
So yes, who was the one who has discovered it? So he was Christian Schoenbein. Then talking about piano, who was the one who had discovered the piano? Piano was discovered by Cristofori. Next, printing press. So printing press, from where we have the newspapers and all those printings are done. Na? So who was the one who had discovered it? He was Guttenberg. So the full name is Johannes Guttenberg. Next, talking about parachute. So parachute was discovered by Louis Sebastian. So Louis Sebastian actually discovered parachute. Next, talking about polio vaccine. So this one is again important. It is asked in the examination many times. Please remember, polio vaccine was actually discovered by Jonas Edward Salk. And let me tell you, I have kept all these invention discoveries which are repeatedly asked in the examination. In most of the cases, all the equation, almost all the equations you will be getting from this part itself. Fine. Okay. Talking about periodic table, if I will talk about the periodic table, it was discovered by Mendeleev. Remember, if I will talk about chemistry, in chemistry we see that Mendeleev's periodic table, right? So yes, this is the same Mendeleev. Then comes penicillin. Penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming. Then pacemaker. What is this pacemaker? If I talk about the blood circulation in our heart, we have a part that is pacemaker which is helping in the regulation of blood circulation. That is, blood is not circulating at a faster rate or at a lower rate because it is maintained by the pacemaker. But what if your pacemaker which is the natural pacemaker doesn't work properly. So in this case, artificial pacemaker is used which was actually discovered by Ryune. Fine. So Ryune was the one who has discovered this pacemaker. Then petrol for motor car. If I talk about car, we all have a dream that we want Mercedes, right? Mercedes. Now we have we know that Mercedes Benz, right? So from this Mercedes Benz itself, we can remember Carl Benz. Mercedes Benz, Carl Benz. So Carl Benz is the one who has discovered the petrol for motor car. Next, refrigerator. Now for what this refrigerator is used? Obviously for the cooling purpose, right? So for the cooling purpose, we use refrigerator, no doubt. So this refrigerator, which is used for the cooling purpose, what I'm saying? Cooling, 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 cooling. What Qlin and cooling uh, sounds same, right? It it is one and the same thing. It sounds quite same. So yes, from this Qlin word, we can understand William Qlin was the one who has discovered this refrigerator. Similarly, talking about radium, a very important question. I'll put four stars over here. We remember, if I talk about radium, we are aware of the answer. That is Marie Curie, right? If I talk about Marie Curie and Pierre Curie, so they were actually husband and wife who have discovered this radium. And Marie Curie is the one who has received Nobel Prize more than once. This is asked in the examination. More than once who has received the Nobel Prize, there would be options. One of the options would be Marie Curie. So please remember, Marie Curie is the one who has received this Nobel Prize more than once. Fine. So yes, we have discussed these things right now. And everyone who has joined the session, kindly like it and share it so that we can have more candidates and we can have more discussion with lots of things. Okay. Next, I'm sure, vulcanized rubber. So, vulcanized rubber was discovered by Charles Goodyear. Next, rocket engine. If I talk about rocket engine, it was discovered by Robert H. Dog Goddard. Now, see, again, I have a trick. Now, the thing is that since you're not interacting, so we are unable to go into the depth level. But yes, till then, I'll tell you. If I talk about rocket, from rocket, what we do? Obviously, rockets are used by which we can send things or even we can go outside the Earth's atmosphere. Now, if I talk about God, where we find God? So, we know that God is everywhere, no doubt. But still, there's a conception in our mind that we think, sir, okay, God is there in the sky, right? So, in that sky, when you'll be going through the rocket, where you'll reach? You'll reach God. So, from that trick, you can remember, Robert H. God, Dard was the one who has discovered this rocket engine. Similarly, talking about radio. So, radio was discovered by Marconi. So, he was the Sorry, who was he? He was Marconi. Next, Richard Scale. Richard Scale actually tells about the earthquake. So, we'll talk about Richard Scale. Richard Scale was discovered by Charles Richard. Next, Ship's Turbine. Ship's Turbine was discovered by Charles Parsons. If I talk about Steamship, Steamship was discovered by Robert Fulton. And then if I talk about Steamboat, he was Robert Fulton again. So, these, these are actually the inventors. Then, Talking about submarine. Submarine, you know, if I talk about this submarine, this submarine actually is present underwater. So, who was he? If I talk about this submarine, he was Cornless Dribble. Then, talk about stethoscope. Stethoscope was discovered by Rene. Then, saxophone. So, 
सो सेक्सोफोन वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय हुम सो सेक्सोफोन वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय एडोल्फी सेक्स सो फ्रॉम इज सर नेम इट सेल्फ ही एज कैप्ट इज नेम कैप्ट दिस नेम सेक्सोफोन द फुल नेम वॉज एडोल्फी सेक्स देन कम्स अ स्विंग मशीन स्विंग मशीन इज वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय एलियस हो देन टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टीम पावर्ड एयरशिप स्टीम पावर्ड एयरशिप वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय हेनरी गिफार्ड यस सो टेल हेयर If there is any sort of doubt, please let me know so that I can proceed forward. Then, yes. Is there any sort of doubt? If there is any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. If there is any sort of doubt, please let me know. And from tomorrow, we'll do one thing. We'll be having questions. We'll be having question answer session from tomorrow. And with that question answer session, we'll be going with the theory part. Fine, because that would be. better so that i can keep on interacting also with you fine so we'll do what we'll be keeping the question answer sessions from tomorrow and along with that we'll be covering theory so we'll not be going theory in this mera from tomorrow itself okay so okay then moving forward talking about soft contact lenses soft contact lenses were discovered by otto um uh, virchley then comes a synthesizer now synthesizer was discovered by dr robert arthur moog so dr arthur moog was the one who has discovered this synthesizer so these are the things now talking about thermometer who was he thermometer was actually discovered by galileo and we have discovered we have actually discussed one thing if i talk about this thermometer this thermometers are of different different types right but if i talk about several thermometers what are its name we can talk about gas thermometer we can talk about alcohol thermometer we can talk about mercury thermometer so there are several thermometers right but if someone asks you which thermometer is actually helpful in measuring the lowest temperature so for the lowest temperature we have alcohol thermometer why alcohol not mercury because mercury will actually freeze at that temperature but alcohol has lesser a uh, freezing point so that's why alcohol is used as a minimum for the minimum temperature reading we use alcohol thermometer but for the higher temperature very high temperature around 3000 degree centigrade 6000 degree centigrade what we use for that part we use pyrometer so please do not forget for the higher temperature pyrometer for the lower temperature alcohol thermometer okay okay then moving forward theory of evolution who was the one so theory of evolution was actually given by charles darwin then typewriter typewriter was discovered by christopher lethem scholes then comes the transistors so there were many people here if i talk about transistor he was john bardeen William Shockley and Walter Britton then telephone everyone knows about him who was he if i'll talk about telephone he was graham bell then wall radio he was sir j a fleming then comes your this part where we'll talk about vitamins so these vitamins were discovered by whom if i'll talk about vitamins so there is no such one discoverer there are several vitamins and for all the vitamins we have different different discoverers so let's start with vitamin a Vitamin A was discovered by Frederick Goled Hopkins. Okay, one more thing. If I talk about vitamin A, what is its chemical name? This is very important. It is asked in the examination. If I talk about vitamin A, its chemical name is retinol. What? Retinol. Now just have a look at this word clearly. Retinol. Just think about it. This word retin. Don't you think it is like retina? And where is this retina? In our eyes. This means. if there would be lack of vitamin a there would be the issue in our eyes and that's why we say that if there is the deficiency of vitamin a we suffer with night blindness got my point so from the name itself it will be clear okay then comes of uh, vitamin a which was dis actually discovered by sir hopkins then comes of vitamin b where if i'll talk about vitamin b its deficiency is actually known as beriberi who was the one so he was christian edgman then talking about vitamin c vitamin c which is found in the citrus fruits i'll write for you all its name is ascorbic acid ascorbic acid and it was actually discovered by albert now if i'll talk about this uh, uh, albert sergeant georgi so he was the one who has discovered this vitamin c but one more thing where we are going to find it we are going to find it in the citrus fruits but in the examination it is asked where we will get maximum vitamin c so please remember that correct answer would be lemon got my point then talk about vitamin k who was he so vitamin k was discovered by henrik dem talking about vitamin e vitamin e was discovered by 
हर्बर्ट मैकलीन इवांस एंड कैथरीन स्कॉट बिशप देन विंडशील्ड वाइपर्स इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अ कार्स देन वी हैव विंडशील्ड राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट विंडशील्ड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट वन मोर स्ट्रक्चर विच इज देयर डेट इज अ वाइपर करेक्ट सो इट विंडशील्ड वाइपर वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय होम सो ही वॉज मैरी एंडरसन सो मैन मैरी एंडरसन वॉज दन हुज डिस्कवर्ड दिस विंडशील्ड वाइपर देन टॉकिंग अबाउट डब्ल्यू 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 डेट इज वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब नाउ एवरी वन हु इज प्रेजेंट हेयर If I write four times W, what would be the correct answer? What is W W W W? Can you tell me about it? This question was asked in Intelligence Bureau examination. Till then, let me tell you. If I talk about W W W, that is World Wide Web, it was actually discovered by Tim Berners Lee. Who was he? Tim Berners Lee with Robert Kelly. So Robert Kelly and the Tim Berners Tim Berners Lee were the one who has discovered W W W, that is World Wide Web. Next. so next comes the most important thing because after this we'll be going with the uh, previous year's question answer session so we'll talk about x-ray very very important question which was because it is asked many times so if i'll talk about this x-ray x-ray was discovered by wilhelm cornard roentgen please remember he was wilhelm cornard roentgen next comes a xerox machine so xerox machine was discovered by chester Carlson Carlson so yes these all were the important important inventions and discoveries these inventors name are very important it is asked in the examinations repeatedly now what we'll do we'll go with the previous year's question answer session so let's start so there's a first question anemometer is used to measure what so there are four options but actually i have given another options i'll write for you if i'll talk about anemometer it is actually used for measuring the wind speed please remember anemometer is actually used for measuring the wind speed next purity of milk is measured by what now this is the question and i i want answer from everyone purity of milk is uh, is actually measured by what so we have different options here let's see who gives us answer and everyone who has joined the session kindly like the session and share it so that we can have more candidates and you can have competition right now yes everyone everyone is requested to kindly share the session yeah so who if i'll talk about the purity of the milk so how can can we actually discover it is there any device for measuring this so yes if i'll go with this answer let me tell you the best part is just go with this part that is lact if i'll talk about the acid which is present in the milk that is what lactic acid right apart from that if i'll talk about the bacteria which is converting milk into the curd that is lactobacillus we'll dis uh, we'll discuss it in the bio part so from this lactometer just break it into two parts meter that is checking the uh, lactic acid or whatever content is there in the milk that would be what that would be lactometer so option number b will be correct and everyone is requested to please answer this because these are the previously asked questions it is going to be very very helpful in the examination so yes lactometer is the correct answer next the instrument for measuring intensity of the earthquake is what So this is from SSC Tax System 2006, but yes, very important for CGL as well. So yeah, Manvinder waiting for your answer. So what's the question? The question is, if I talk about the instrument for measuring the intensity of earthquakes, what is going to be the correct answer? So yeah, Manvinder, your answer was absolutely correct. So yes, if I talk about the intensity of the earthquake, so we know that there is a graph. Remember, what was it? Seismograph. If I'll talk about that seismograph, there was a scale as well. Which one? That was Richter scale. Remember? So if I'll talk about the Richter scale, that is we call it actually Richter scale. So Richter or Richter scale and the seismograph they are related with the earthquake. So whenever you get a question that the instrument for measuring intensity of the earthquake, it is known as what? So it is actually your seismograph. Next question. An instrument used to measure the humidity is what? So this is from CHSL 2011. Can you answer this? If I talk about the instrument which is used to measure humidity, it is what? Is it anemometer? Is it hygrometer? Is it thermometer? Or is it, pyre, uh, or is it pyre heliometer? So what is going to be the correct answer? Is it heliometer? Is it thermometer? Hygrometer? What? And yes, waiting for the answer, please. Instrument for measuring the humidity. See, whenever we talk about the humidity. so we always have an example right now we have seen in many of many parts of our country there is a rainfall that is going on right and just after the rainfall we 
कॉल इट इन हिंदी वी से दैट उमस हो गई है राइट इन इंग्लिश वी कॉल इट अ ह्यूमिडिटी पार्ट सो वेट टॉक अबाउट दिस ह्यूमिडिटी इट इज एक्चुअली मेजर्ड बाय हाइग्रोमीटर वॉट इज दैट हाइग्रोमीटर सो येस ऑप्शन नंबर बी विल बी करेक्ट हेयर एंड एवरी वन इज रिक्वेस्टेड टू काइंडली आंसर दिस सो वेट आई कैन स्टार्ट कन्वर्जेशन ऑल्सो विद यू ऑल हाँ सो येस इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच इज यूज टू मेजर ह्यूमिडिटी इज हाइग्रोमीटर नेक्स्ट Before moving forward, let me tell you there's an example official application, which is one-stop solution for the government job aspirants. What all things are there? We have live paid courses. We have free subject-wise and topic-wise quizzes with the report card. We have job alert, admit card, examination date. All exam previous year PDFs with the solution is there. Apart from that, free All India Scholarship test with the report card. We have topic-wise free live classes, free full-length sectional test with the report card. free exam wise pdfs and the practice set pdfs then we have daily weekly and and monthly current affairs and apart from that we have unlimited subject wise practice set questions now how you can download it just go to the play store type exam pro over there click on the install button go to the open part just do the registration and start using it so that you can avail all the facilities which are there for you yes the next question is meter in a vehicle meter in a vehicle that calculates distance covered by the Vehicle is called what? Now this is from MTS 2014. Meter in a vehicle that calculates the distance covered by the vehicle. This time I will be waiting for the answer from you all who all are present here. Only then I will move forward and think twice before giving this answer. So Manvendra Shilpa, waiting for the answer, please. What is the correct answer? So if I talk about this question. Let me tell you the meter which is actually used in the vehicle. First of all, that th comes into our mind is speedometer, right? But if I talk about speedometer, just try to relate it. The meter, the meter which is actually calculating the speed. What is the speed of your vehicle? That would be what? That would be speedometer. But if I talk about this odometer, from here D, you can just relate it with the distance. So please remember, odometer is the one which is actually helping in calculating the distance. Fine. So, odometer is the device that is actually helping in the measurement of the distance. Speedometer is the device which is actually helping in the measurement of the speed. If I talk about the thermometer, it is actually helpful in measuring the temperature. And obviously, kilometer is not going to be the anything because it is actually a unit to measure the length. Okay. So, there were four options, and odometer is going to be the correct answer over here. So, I guess these things are clear. Moving forward, next question is. Who invented electric stove? Now this is from CHSL TA one 2016. Who was the one who has discovered electric stove? Electric stove was discovered by whom? And everyone who has joined the session kindly start commenting and yes kindly like the session and start sharing it. Waiting for the answer. If I talk about the question that is electric stove was discovered by whom? So was he Lloyd? Was he Christofori? Was he Leonardo da Vinci or was he Philip? Who was the one who has discovered this electric stove? Answer, please. So, if I'll go with the Leonardo da Vinci, I know it is not going to be the correct answer, right? Now, the only options which are left are A, B, and D. Now, I can start eliminating the options slowly and slowly. First of all, I'll be elim eliminating D. But before that, before that, I want the answer from everyone. Who all are present over here? Kindly give me your names. Kindly give me your attendance. Who all are present over here? Okay. So if I'll go with this option, we have listened this word Lloyd, right? So here Lloyd Grofman Kaufman would be the correct answer. Next, who invented rocket? Now this is again from CHSL part, but it was asked in CGL, CHSL, and CPU. All the three examinations. Now we had a trick for this. Whenever we we'll talk about a rocket, why we use rocket? We are actually using rocket so that we go, can, we can go into into this space. When we are talking about going into the space, we know that if I talk about the god, the thing from our childhood is which that is in there in, in my mind is that okay, the god is actually present everywhere. It is no doubt god is present everywhere. But the thing which is which clicks in my mind is he must be there sitting in the sky, right? So yes, god, and in the sky I can only and only go using the rocket. So from rocket. The thing that comes into our mind is God. So yes, Robert Goddard was the one who has discovered this rocket. So who was the one who has discovered, in, sorry, invented rocket? He was Robert Goddard. That is option number C will be correct here. Next, 
who invented the contact lens this is from chsl 10 plus 2 now who was the one who has discovered this contact lens so need answer from everyone yes if i talk about this part that is if i talk about the contact lenses so we are talking about the same lenses if i talk about the lenses they are made up of what they are made up of the glass that is what that is the flint glass right so we'll talk about this flint glass this must be discovered by someone so from this lens we know that we can talk about the eyes eyes actually flick right so from the flick 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 we can go with the flick part right so if i talk about the discoveries uh that is who has discovered the contact lens that is adolf gaston eugen fick just go with this part that is fick flickering of the eyes we discuss right so from the flickering part we can just go to the word fick so adolf gaston eugen fick was the one who has discovered this contact lens so moving forward next comes who invented the nuclear reactor this is from cpu examination 2010 what is the correct answer over here who has actually discovered the nuclear reactor once you give me the answer so we can have a discussion on this nuclear reactor as well who has actually discovered the nuclear reactor waiting for the answer please who was the one who has discovered nuclear reactor and yes nuclear reactor is the one via which we are getting the power power generation in india in india if i'll talk about the power generation sources power generation sources so we have several sources one can be thermal power plant apart from thermal power plant we can have hydroelectric dams that is hydro power then we can talk about wind power right and one of them is there that is we are talking about nuclear power so i am giving you four different options one more question i'll be asking after this so first of all i want the answer who was the one who has discovered this nuclear reactor and one of the option is already gone why because we know that this fake was the one who has discovered the contact lenses so hr has joined hello hr how are you so yes hr is with option d okay hr cool here the answer is going to be for me now let me tell you first of all the trick but since you are from the english medium so i'll just tell you if i'll go with this for me so in hindi we call heat as a garmi that is whenever we'll go to any of the production houses that is the power production houses we'll feel hot right so garmi hogi in hindi we say garmi for the hotness so from garmi word we can remember fermi so actually fermi was the one who has invented this but my next question was i was talking about thermal power plant thermal then we were having hydro hydroelectric energy where we can talk about the dams and all apart from that hydroelectric is done then we can talk about geothermal power plants geothermal in which we can talk about thermals as well and then comes on nuclear reactors so if someone asks you if i talk about india the maximum production maximum production of energy is done from which part so can you answer this question in india the maximum energy is production is done from where is it thermal power plants hydroelectric dams or we'll not go with this geothermal power apart from that we'll go with the wind power and fourth one is nuclear power so what is going to be the correct answer now this question was asked in the cpu examination Deck to twice. My question is: If I talk about the power generation in India, the leading source is what? Is it thermal, hydro, wind, or nuclear power? This has been asked twice in CPU examination. So need answer from everyone. So that I'll be going with the explanation of the nuclear. Then what is nuclear power plant? What all things are there? But before that, I want answer. If I talk about the power generation in India, the maximum energy is obtained from where? is it thermal power plant is it hydroelectric dams wind power or nuclear power no one any guesses hr are you there manvendr shilpa whoever is there kindly give me the answer the maximum power generation in india is done from which end is it thermal power plant hydroelectric dams wind power or nuclear power okay so i'll not wait any more i'll just tell you the thermal power up, uh, thermal power is going to be the correct answer fine so please remember for india we will be having thermal as the correct answer now we were talking about this nuclear reactors if i am talking about this nuclear reactors please remember here we will be discussing about radioactivity actually and for this radioactivity process what is this radioactivity for radioactivity please remember if i talk about any of the element that is radioactive for example thorium 
इफ आई टॉक अबाउट थोरियम वॉट एपन्स दीज पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट्स एक्चुअली कीप ऑन डिसइंटीग्रेटिंग नाउ वेन एवर दे डिसइंटीग्रेट दे आर डूइंग वॉट दे आर रिलीजिंग रेस विच रेस वी नो दोज रेस एल्फा रे बीटा रे एंड गामा रे दे आर एक्चुअली एमिटिंग दीज रेस कॉन्स्टेंटली नाउ वॉट एपन्स वेन एवर दे आर एमिटिंग दिस सम ऑफ द एनर्जी माइट बी देयर इन दिस कंडीशन वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर यूजिंग दीज टाइप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स एंड वी आर यूजिंग दैम एज अ रॉ मटेरियल विच इज एक्चुअली हेल्पिंग अस इन द पावर जनरेशन नो वॉट एपन्स वेन एक्चुअली पावर इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट्स देर इज द लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी इज रिलीज नाउ देर मस्ट बी समथिंग इन ऑर्डर टू कंट्रोल डेट एनर्जी राइट सो वी हैव मॉडरेटर्स देव वॉट वी हैव वी हैव मॉडरेटर्स देव मॉडरेटर्स एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स और न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स देयर वी हैव हार्ड वाटर सॉरी हैवी वाटर सो कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज दैट हैवी वाटर एग्जैक्टली कैन एनी वन ऑफ यू टेल मी वॉट इज दैट हैवी वाटर वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर दैट हैवी वाटर बिकॉज नॉर्मली इफ आई राइट द फॉर्मूला फॉर हैवी वाटर दैट इज वॉट दैट इज एच टू ओ राइट बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट वॉटर दैट इज दैवी वॉटर प्लीज रिमेंबर डेट वुड बी डी टू ओ This is very important. It is asked in the examination many times. Heavy water is D two O. That is deuterium. D stands for deuterium. So please remember that would be D two O. Apart from that, what all are there? We have cadmium rods. We have, I write here, cadmium rods. All those things we have even graphite rods. So we'll do one thing tomorrow. We'll be discussing radioactivity, but not theoretical wise. We'll be going with the question wise part so that we can easily understand and start interacting with you. Because I guess. With the theoretical section, we are unable to make the connectivity, right? So from tomorrow itself, including the chemistry part, we will be going with the uh, question-wise section so that we can start talking to each other. Okay. So here we were discussing about this nuclear power plants. So one more thing is there: the process which is used by this nuclear power plants is what? So please remember that is actually your nuclear nuclear fission. Now this is very important in detail. Man, we will be discussing it today. Uh, sorry, tomorrow. Nuclear fission is the one which is actually used in this nuclear power plants. But if I talk about the sun, if we'll talk about sun, the process that is occurring on the sun is what? That is not fission. That is fusion. So there's a difference between two. If I talk about sun, <coughs> there's a process that is known as nuclear fusion. So there's a difference between both. So please remember, for the atom bomb, nuclear fission would be there. For the hydrogen bomb or sun. nuclear fusion is the process okay then so here we were discussing about this part so yes next comes who discovered television now this is from cgl 2017 very basic question and i guess everyone can answer this so who was the one who discovered television was he michael faraday joseph henry or he was abe kesley or he was john beard who was the one waiting for the answer please everyone and this is very basic i guess everyone can answer this Very basic question: Who was the one who has discovered the television? We have remembered it since our fourth standard, right? Whether it is bulb, Thomas Alva Edison, whether it is cycle, Macmillan, or whether it is TV, that is television. He was J. L. Beard. His name is John Beard. He was actually J. L. Beard. Fine. So yes, television was discovered by J. L. Beard. Next, who was the one who has discovered dynamite? This is only not asked in CGL 2017. It is asked in many of the examinations and many times it has been asked. So if I talk about the discovery of dynamite, please remember who was he? For the discovery of dynamite, we have Alfred Nobel as the correct answer. That is Alfred Nobel is the one who has actually discovered the dynamite. Next. So these these were the things which were to be discussed today. Tomorrow we'll do one thing. We'll be going with the nuclear physics part, but in that nuclear physics part we'll be going with the previous year questions and yes i want the answer from everyone that's why i'll be going with the question wise part and we'll be covering theory along with the questions fine but for the cgl starting with the questions itself not directly theory so i even want your suggestion in the comment section do you want to go in the same manner with the theory first and then questions or along with the questions we'll discuss theory so whatever is your point i want the that in the comment section so that we can proceed forward okay so bye bye everyone please take care and today the thing that we have discussed is what invention and discoveries again i'll say inventions were the things which were invented or which were actually or uh, came into existence 
at that time when they were actually experimented and discovery is a thing which was already existing from before but only some uh, first time that those particular experiments were done and these were uh, brought to the notice of the people okay so this was actually the summary part and finally bye bye to you all we'll meet you tomorrow